Spectre 5 to Ghost. Going in now. Well, Sabine, now she's one I know the fans will be excited about as soon as I say this, but she's a uh, Mandalorian. She is spunky, she's feisty, she's got a little bit of attitude. And with that comes a great understanding of weapons and arms, and uh, she's definitely one that's turned against the Empire, and that's going to be to the Rebels' uh, benefit. Get ready. Two. One. She is very well versed in explosives, and she likes to blow things up. She does it with flair because she's also an artist, so she's pretty rad. <laughs> she also does some graffiti art on the side for fun. The Imperials always know when our Rebels have attacked because Sabine likes to tag their site. She'll sometimes take her blaster and blast like uh, the Phoenix symbol on the wall. We have a library of graffiti that we get to design for Sabine, but we're always adding in new ones because she's, she's always doing something kind of specific. She's adding something that we really haven't seen in the Star Wars universe. You have a, a character that is um, expressively creative through art, whether it's the, the color of her hair or what she's done to her armor. I mean, she's, she, she personalizes things. I love the way she dresses. She just seems hip. She knows how to have fun, but she's also serious. I love her. I wish I was her. She's cool. She's smart. She's kind of a tomboy. She's not like a prissy little girl, and I love that. I'm probably prissier in real life than she is, so I get to kind of explore this sassy, strong, kick-butt kind of character, and uh, I think uh, she's kind of an inspiration.